Dr. Veloy here by Nos. I don't know if you're recording or Sorry. Okay, no knowledge on the face. Um, so I, the problem with understanding this this next armor and this next block is that the way their money worked is not the way our money worked. Uh, when our money works, meaning our money is just money, meaning a dollar pays for a dollar and that's it. Back then, it seems like the weight of the money was how much the money was taka worth. Meaning we were officially based on, we were based on the gold standard. They only let out this, that amount of money based on, on they had the equivalent of gold. So back then, was that's that's basically what they do with their money, which was if you have a coin and the coin was a certain size and a certain weight, so then that coin was worth a certain amount of money. And if that coin got um, de deteriorated or decayed, then it it uh, it uh, um, then it was worth less. All right. So the question is: So you take a a quarter, let's say, and the quarter wear, wears down, then now that quarter is not nearly worth as much as as it was before. So how do you know that you're not ripping somebody off by him saying that it's he's taking a quarter from you? But if you really would take it, it would end up being that that quarter is worth really twenty cents. Right, so how much? What what percentage is, is it that you're ripping the guy off? So the Gemara is going to question. Well, why are we, why are we saying anything different? Why are coins different than anything else? Right? Why should they be any different? The same sixth or a third, whichever whichever opinion you go with, that's what it should be. Right? Okay, but that we'll see in the Gemara. So that that's basically Hakdama. What's going on here? The Zog the Mishnah. Four lines off in the bottom. See, Yaakov, just to show you that you match up yeah. everything with what happens in the world. Two days, two before Shabbos, the new finances of the journal, there was about a recycling company that in the past seven years, five years, whatever, they've recovered $10 million in coins, of which $6 million they make good, and they're able to clean it and deposit it in the bank. The rest is all bent and junk. They can't, but they clean them because they recover things from fires. They get all junk left over from fires and stuff. And they have a cleaning process, makes the coins look like new, and they have a company that sort, takes a percentage, obviously, and sorts them and puts it into the bank for them. What do you mean? They recover it? They, mean they, recover, they recover it. it. Like people leave money in their pans. People leave money in the couches, everything. They have $6 million clean. And that they cleaned up in the past four years or five years, yeah. And the other four million is what? It's all bent. You can't do anything with it. It's been burned too much, or they're, they're bent and up, whatever. They can't clean them. They can't make them. I'm saying, but let's legitimate. say that I would bring that coin to a store. A chaysmish. If I if I have to find it, I so I'll bring I that coin to a store. Away. If you want to get, you want the article and call them because they hate them. I forgot the name of the company. No, no, no I'm just cu I'm curious if that's. Uh... Yeah, I'm curious if that's if that's what it would be, right? Meaning, would it have the same sh would it have the same din as this? Right? Maybe, yeah. Which is, which is that? Uh, can you go if the you mean you mean you give it to a store, and that store goes to the bank. And gives the coin to the bank, and the bank says, "Sorry, <laughs> no, right. this coin is exactly. no good." So now you just you just ripped off the guy. Exactly. Oh, so that's mamish the sugya. That's mamish the sugya. Okay. Yeah. So good. So that's let's see the mishnah. That's very interesting. So kama tehei hasela chaseira. How much can a sela right a coin be lost? Meaning how how can it go down? Lo and there won't be any aina. Meaning because now the coin is worth is worth less. Arba iser ladina. Four iser for a seller, which is really an Issa for a Dina. Right? Which Rashi, Rashi goes through all the calculations. Basically, it's 124th, according to this sheet. Of Yehuda Aymer, Arba Punyainas, it's four Punyainas, Punyin Ladina. It's a Punyin per Dina, which there's 48 Punyainas in a seller and 12 Punyainas in a Dina. Okay, this is all in Rashi. If anybody's interested in crunching these numbers, Gizun Tehit. Rav Shimon Aimer, Anton Ben Aleph. 
Shmaina Pundyainas, it's eight Pundyainas per cellar. Shnei Pundyainim the Dina, it's two Pundyainim to the Dina. Right? Which, again, like we said, there's 48 Pundyainas in a cellar, 12 in a Dina. So, so Mamela, um, that's a little less. That would be 116. Okay? Ad Mosai So uh, how much, meaning how long do you have to give back the coins? So if it's in the cities, in the big cities, you have enough time that it would take to show to a money changer. The Kfarim at Arve Shabbosas, but in a in a little village, you have till Friday. I guess the reason, and I guess the reason for Friday, meaning even if you bought the coin on Sunday or got the coin or gave the coin on Sunday, you still have till still have until Shabbos. Why? Because Erev Shabbos is the shuk. And that's when the experts are going to be around, and then you're going to be able to, uh, then you're going to be able to uh, to find out exactly how much the coin is worth. Meaning, if if the guy recognizes the coin, even after twelve months, you should take it back. Meaning, if you gave a coin, and then and then even within twelve months, the guy comes back and says, you know, this coin that you gave to me. Is lousy, then you should take it back. And the only thing you could have is you could have uh, you could have tainus. You could have complaints that the guy gave it back. Meaning, but halachically he's correct, which is seemingly a stira. We just said that you have until Friday in the in the villages or or uh, or uh, in the cities and enough time to show it to a shulchani, and then all of a sudden. Here we're saying that you have you have unlimited amount of time if the guy realizes. When I send us Lamaisa Shani and but you could use these coins for my Sashani, meaning when you want to be paid to your fruit onto onto money. So these coins, even if they they may or may not be uh uh what are we calling it? Passable, even though they may may or may not be passable, so so then it's uh so then, but for my session, you could use it. Shaina Ella Nefesh Ra, because really a person should accept these coins because these coins are worth something. If somebody's so, so stingy that he doesn't want to accept these coins, that means he's a Nefesh Ra. It means he's, it's a strong term. It's a strong term. It means he's a bad soul. Meaning a stingy guy is a bad, is a bad soul. Now, there's a lot of information in this Mishnah. So let's see the Gemara. So again, before we ask the Kasha, so the, the Mishnah says, how much should be in a cellar? How much is missing from a cellar? There's not a B I know. But then we have a Bryce that says, remaining, I can't be a cellar, say B I know. That means that the number, and then it gives the same numbers as the Mishnah. So it sounds like that exact number in the Mishnah says it's not going to be I know. And in the price, it says it is going to be a no. So which one is it? Meaning less and more is going to be the same thing. But on that thing, on that amount, let's say one, one the pungya in order there, or the seller, whatever the percentages are based on the, the three-way machlokes in the Mishnah. But but the Mishnah, on the, the, that exact number, our Mishnah sounds like it's not going to be a no. And the price, it sounds like it will be a no. So what is it? Our, our Tana starting from the bottom and on its way up. Tana bra, the, the Tana of the Bright, it's calculating from up down, which meaning as, as the, as the percentages go down. So Mimela, they're going to, they both meet in the, they both meet in the middle and they're both saying the same thing. So my, so then they want to ask, so my Shinobasela, the Pligi, my Shinobatalis, the Loi Pligi. So like we said in the Mishnah, we have all these opinions. We have all these opinions, and and they all disagree by coins. But how come by a talis there's no machlokes, right? Meaning, in the, we have the machlokes in the Mishnah whether I know is one sixth or one third. But there's no machlokes how to calculate the sixth, right? That there isn't. Fine. So, so the Gemara says. The man the that's talking about talis is Rip Shimon, right? That it's really it's really a sixth. 
Meaning, so Ramei and Rabbi Yehuda would also be chaylik on the Mishnah with Talis. Right? But they're not, but it's not their sheet. It's Rabbi Shimon. So Amela, there's no, there's no machloik is brought there. Abayah, Amar Abayah is a different term. It's Talis, Achtos, Machal, Inish. So by a Talis, up until the six, the person is Michael. Amri Inchi, Ashik, Ligabech, right? Pay, pay extra for your back. The shavi lekrisef, but only pay what it's equal for your stomach. Sela kima delay sagile, and since the sela is not going to work, it's not going to go around. Loy mochel, so a person is not a person is not mochel. I mean, basically, what it's saying is that, but well, we don't mind overpaying. We don't mind overpaying. Um. For uh, for um, clothing, but we do over mind overpaying for food, which I don't want to bring it up. But it seems like everybody's got the tainas on the food, the clothing store, the food stores for overcharging. And what about the clothing stores for overcharging? Clothing prices are ridiculous, right? And nobody has any. Nobody is making a big ruckus about it, right? I don't know if that's a raya or not, but that's basically the Gemara's terrors. That by money, when it, when it's money and food, whatever it is, then we're much more mocked not to get ripped off. But when it's... Uh, Maybe because food is constant. Could be. Well, yeah, but here we're saying that, yeah, could be. But here it's saying that make sure... Um, uh, uh, Rashi says that the reason for clothing is... You need you need it for your body. Your body needs survival, so you need to be warm, right? So since you need to be warm, so then that's uh, so that's that's more important than food. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but it's an interesting thing because you see the mitzvahs and nothing's changed. That's the point. Bottom line is you see that nothing's changed. People have no problem overpaying for clothing and for food. They everybody uh, there's a uh, a lot of anger. Okay, fine. Gufa. The Gemara says, "Ad How much does the seller have to go down, and then it's you know, Ramei, Ramei, Arba Israus, Israel, Ladino. Poor Israus, Israel, Ladino. You do Ramei, Dalat, put you, put you in Ladino. It's just a repeat of the Mishnah. Rashi, Shimon, Ramei. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm being an idiot. Because when your wife and daughters walk out of the house, they're not wearing a box of Cheerios. You're very happy when they look good in the clothes that they overpaid. For, you know. <laughs> okay, that's a different, that's a little different spin, but okay. <laughs> I hear. Um, uh, I thought you were going to say that you don't have a choice. That's bottom line. You no, but, no, I wasn't going to get into that. You're not doing that. Matrimonial <laughs> uh, uh, counseling. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Reb Shimon Oymer. Shmei neputin yushnei putin yushnei yeser al kein meich reb shavi. I'm sorry, the first thing is Reb Shimon Oymer. Shmei neputin yushnei Fine. So yes, sir, I'll okay. If it's more than that, and you could sell it for whatever it's worth. All right? Um, meaning, well, yeah, we're gonna see on a base exactly what this means. But you could sell it for its regular for its regular thing. So ad kama tifchas Good. So now how much can the coin lose? I mean, how much can it get? Can it be decayed, right? And it's and it's and you're allowed to keep it. But seller, if it's a seller, until it's a shekel, a dinar ad reiva, a dinar until it's a quarter of a dinar. Pachas mikain iser, right? If it's less than this, meaning if it's an iser less than this, then also then it's also like Then the question is, do you do you you know, you go to let's see or not? If it's less than this, then you meaning if it goes down less than that, then you're not allowed to you're not allowed to uh put it out. So the Gemara will explain this. I raise it like Karena and you're not allowed to sell it. I mean you can't go swap out this coin because it's already so bad. I guess it's like that four million that you were talking about before. It's so bad that there's nobody could do anything with it. Like you not not only you can't sell Lloyd Latagar, Beloit Lakharam, Beloit Lahar. You can't sell it to a a tagar who's a you know a businessman. And not to a chorum, that's somebody who's a scammer. But like the and not to somebody who kills. Because these guys are not trustworthy. And they're going to go rip people off with these coins. 
Ella, Yikvena, what you do is you should make a hole in it, and hang it on the, your, the neck of your kid, or on the neck of your daughter. So you see that boys did wear jewelry. According to this, no? So you hang it on the neck of your boy, of your boys or your girls. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's a jewelry. Maybe it's like the dog tags that everybody are wearing now for the hostages. Right? That type of thing. Make a hole in it. Meaning, the point is, is if you make a hole in it, nobody's going to take that. It's, there's no chashash that there's going to be anything wrong with those. With the, Nobody's going to do anything wrong with those coins. Fine. So, Amar Amar, Basela at Shekel, Bedina at Reuva. Basela until a Shekel and a dinar until a quarter. Maishna Basela at Shekel. Why are you saying with a shell and the shekel? Which is which is half. How come by a dinner it's a quarter? Meaning, why why are there different percentages of what how much of the coin could be missing to put it out of commission? What it means is a roiva shekel, not a quarter of a dinner. Right? A dinner is a half a shekel. And a half a, so what's a half a dinar? It's a quarter of a shekel. So meaning we were just we were just um not reading it correctly and what we what it meant a quarter. So basically it's the same percentage of loss between the dinar with the seller and uh and the dinar. Amarava de Konami, we could be medaic this the katani roiva, but like katani revia. It says roiva and it doesn't say a fourth or a quarter. Right? Shmami no. So it's talking about a shekel. And uh, it's a I mean, it's a quarter of a shekel, which is really half a dina. Fine, look. I'm sorry. A dinner is a shekel dinner. So if a shekel it goes, if a shekel gets decayed until it has the same weight as a dinner, then you could use it. Then you could use it as a dinner. All right. I'm a silent the Ravami, and this this is a proof to Ravami. Dama Ravami, dinner haba mi shekel muta lekaima. If a dino that comes from a shekel, you could keep it. Dino habami sela, a dino that comes from a sela, um, also lakaima, you can't keep it. Fine. Okay. Um, fine. Uh, fine. What was McCain? Also, it's so less than this, it's also to take it out. My karma. What exactly did the Bryson mean like that? If it's less than that, you can't. What are you gonna? What? What? I mean, what is it? What exactly is the is the Mishnah saying? I'm sorry, not the Mishnah, the Bryson. Yeah. So Rashi, Rashi, it's. I mean, what do you mean, my karma? Right. So Rashi says, it says it can't be less than that. Right. Then it's also lakaima. So what? So what are you saying that it's? Meaning, if it's the seller became less by an iser, meaning more than the iser I know, also, then it's also to do anything with it. Right? Meaning, if the, if it gets decayed by so much, and you can't do anything with this thing. If that's the case, then even even... Even uh, it just went down uh, more. Yeah, meaning if you're saying that it only has to go down worth of an iser, yeah, then it's uh, then why an iser? I mean, if you're saying it went more than the aina, so it has, has to go an iser more than the than the sheer aina than a sixth, right? But if it's any if it's more than the sheer aina, then it should be even the the smallest amount. So the rubber says different shot. Pichsa sela iser ledina. Sela became decayed, right? With an iser for a dinar, then it's also. The stama kiremeir. 
And this seems like a star Mishnah is like Rameir, because that measurement works out according to Rameir. Okay, I warned you that this that this is like, I don't even know what kind of math class this is. But yeah, <laughs> fine. It's not awesome. Sela shenifsela is kinesh yishoykobo mishkolis. If a sela became puzzle, meaning they took it out of uh, what's circulation. What's it circulation, thank you, that's the word. Uh, they took it out of circulation. It's kinesh yishoykobo mishkolis. So what is he going to do with it? He's going to use it as a counterweight. Right, uh, Tamea, it's it's gonna be it becomes tummy. Right? Meaning once something becomes a uh once something becomes a kli, right, then it becomes it becomes a makabal tumma. Right? If you, something's not a kli, it's not makabal tumma. So now this coin wasn't a kli. Now all of a sudden it became they took it out of circulation, now it became a kli, so now it has the ability to become tummy. And how much, how much can it go down? And it's both to keep it. For a cell, it's two dinner. But if it's less than this, then you have to yuck it. You have to cut it up. Because you can't use it for weights or anything because you don't want it around because it's too, it's, it's, there's going to be too much stick if somebody, if somebody gets it. Yes, or okay, my. What about more than that? So you said that's all matter if it's less than that. And let's say it's more than that. If it's less than this, then you knock it down. Meaning you destroy it. Yes, or okay, yokuts. So then he has to also. Right? Meaning it doesn't it doesn't make a difference whether it's more or less. You just have to destroy it. Because if it's less than a shekel. Then people might use it as a shekel and etc. etc. So the same thing. Rav Ami Omar, Hachas Mikain Yakut. If it's less than this, he cuts it up. Yes, Rav Ken Yakayim. But more than this, you can be you can be Mikayim. You can hold on to it. So Meisve on Tamid Beis. Yes, Rav Ken. More than this, Meichru B'Shavu. He could sell it for right. We said in the Brisa before that if he if it's more than this, then he could then he could sell it for what it's worth. My love should pichso Yosef Gedayim Nasa. Isn't this once again? Isn't this talking about where? It went less than I know. So meaning, it's the Gemara is saying that you're allowed to use the coin for its equivalent. So let's say, using our example, let's say uh, using our coins, let's say it was a quarter and somehow it decayed and it's worth 15 cents. So it seems to be saying that you're allowed to use it at least for 15 cents, which would be a kasha because it means you hold, that means you can have, you can hold on to the coin and use it. No, you say the kati le pichsa b'idei nasa. What does you say mean? It means it didn't get less than it's up until it's I know. Then you could you could hold on to it, but less than that, or more than that, then you're not allowed to. What do you want to say? Listen, when years ago there was some South American coin. That cost like a, a few of our pennies, and it was the, and it was the same size as a quart. I think you use it in parking meters, if I remember. That was the that was the shtick. You can buy it for the a two cents or a nickel, oh, yeah. and you could use it for a quart. yeah, um, something like that. Yeah, wasn't there something with the payphones, the coin that worked in the payphones? Maybe it was that. I, I, uh, I, yeah. Yes, yeah, so when I came originally to America, America, it was a ten what? pence piece. So when I came originally to America, it was a ten pence piece, so worth about twelve to fifteen cents. So it also was the same size as a quarter. Uh -huh. And and how much is that worth? About fifteen cents. Uh huh. I hear. Definitely more than I know. Interested. Okay, but that maybe using a different currency has probably has different issues in, in addition to that, right? Okay, so let's see why. There's a mace fee. I'd come a tiff cut. They should try to buy cigarettes with it. The guy wouldn't take it for cigarettes. He's like, go put it in the meter. Okay. Leave me alone. Yeah, those things, then you just put them into the pushka. Right? Um, yeah, so mace fee. I'd come a tiff cut via a rishoy lakaima. How much can it go down? And you're allowed to hold on to it. The sell out shekel. It was sell out a shekel. My love, the pach is porta porta. 
isn't just talking about where it went down in small amounts. Hurt to purta means a little bit by a little bit. Right? So, which is a kasha on Ravuna. Right? Because Ravuna said, you're not allowed to hold on to it even before it goes down to a shekel. So, what's the pshat? So, and meaning it's doesn't mean like overnight this coin, this coin became became under worth less. It slowly, it slowly decays. So that means you are holding on to it until it gets down to that amount. So it's a stira. Well, it says light enough for the nura of if Like Rabban, that's what he's saying. It fell into a fire. Mamish, what are you saying? It fell into a fire, and it became it became destroyed in one shot. That's what we're talking about. But in a chanami, if it went down. In small amounts, and you would you would have to take it out of circulation. Fine. So Omar Mar Yikvena, Yitlada Betzavar Benoy Betzavar Bidus. So what do you do with this coin? So make a hole in it, and then you use it as a necklace for your kids. What I'm saying is that the Gemara asks us, "Tiro Eloi Asana Mishkal Bein Mishkaloisa," says you shouldn't use it as a weight between your weights. Eloi Yizrukena Bein Gutoisa, and you shouldn't throw it into the into the pieces of. Uh, of grutois, grutois is like uh, uh, scrap metal, right? And you shouldn't use it as uh, to make a hole in it as a necklace for your kids. Either you should you grind it up, or you uh, melt it. Or so you cut it up. You bring it to the yamamela. So you see, you can't use it around the necks of you can't use it for a for a necklace, even though you made a hole in it. We have a stira. Can you make a hole in it? Can you not make a hole in it? What is talking about making it in the middle? So if you make it in the middle, that's fine because the coin will never be able to be used. But if you make the hole on the edge of the coin, then maybe you can wear down the coin and then they'll no longer pass it on as currency. It's interesting. So now you just got to make sure you make the hole in the middle. Now, what's the middle as, as opposed to the edge? I don't know. Right? Okay, fine. So now that's the harder That's the harder part of the daf. The rest of the daf is a little bit easier. And Masai Mutala after the Krachim Achayir the Shulchani, the Kfarim Ad right? So how long do you have to decide whether the coins you were given as change or the guy paid with, how long do you have to decide um, that they're no good? So in big cities, you have enough time to show it to uh, Shulchanit. And in small cities, until Erev Shabbos. We want to ask, Why is it by a seller that we, we, uh, uh, we uh, how do you call it? Differentiate between a small city and a big city. By Talis, we didn't say. Uh, we said by a Talis, and again, a Talis is just an example, right? But uh, by a Talis, we said if you're if you have a no, so you have either enough time to show it to uh, to your friends or to show it to to somebody else in business, and nobody disagrees, and we don't differentiate, right? So Amar Abayek, he tanan ami mas nisa betalis bekrochin tanan. Right, we're talking about talis. We're talking about talis. In we are talking talking in the but if it would be in kfarim, then you would have more. Rav Amar. Robert says, Talis, call Inish Kimla Begava. Everybody knows how much the Talis is worth. Tala, Kimla the Lab, call Inish Kimla Begava. But money, many people don't have any idea about currencies. Ella Shulchani, so a Shulchani knows about it. Hilka for Krachim, Nika Shulchani, the Krachim, big cities that have lots of money changes, actually, you know, the Shulchani. Then you have enough time. The Kvarim, the Leka Shulchani, if there's no Shulchani, are Arvish Abbas is the South in the Shukha. That you have until Erev Shabbos, which is when people go to the Shuk. So it's just a practical thing. Right? You just, uh, um, you're in again, if for a Talis, everybody knows the worth. So there's no reason to differentiate between a city. Right? But, uh, but by uh, money, people have no idea. So you have to be able to give enough time either to go to the Shulchani, and if you're in a small town, to be able to go to when there's a Shuk. So there's, People around to ask them. Fine. And if the guy recognizes it and he realizes that the coin is is messed up, so you should take it back, even after a year. But but you can have and the only thing you could have is a complaint. 
So the Gemara says, Heicha, where are we talking about that this guy has up until a year? If you're talking about in the big cities, we just got finished saying that you have up until the amount of time to show to a shulchan. And if it's in Kfarim, it's until uh, you have until Arab Shabbos. You're right. You really, halachically, you have in the cities, you have until the time to a shulchan. And if it's in the villages, you have until Friday. Right, but we're talking about midas chasidus. If you're a, meaning, you want to be a an over the top businessman, and somehow money got passed on that's not really worth what you took for it. Hello. So you sh- so then you should just uh, um uh, you should just uh, take it back up midas chasidus. But the Gemara says, "Iachi Gemara asks, Iachi Emes Seifa." Right, the Seifa says, "Ainly love ella tarumus." The only thing you have is complaints. The man, so now who who is this complaining? Like who who are we talking about with this complaining? Ila Chassid. We're saying if it's somehow the guy who's a Chassid who took back the money, if you really have complaints and it's only a Midas Chassidus, so then don't take the money back. You don't halachically have to do it. Again, we just finished saying that halachically you don't have to take it back, but he wants to be a Chassid to take it back. So if you, but if you're going to have complaints, and then don't take it back because halachically you don't have to. But like Tarumas to Havile, and meaning don't take it back, and then you won't have any complaints. Ba'alalahef the Kiblamine must be. It's talking about who the guy who he took the coin from. Meaning that he's the one that only has complaints. It can only have complaints. So the boss of the Makablamine. Right? And this is when the tzaddik or the chastid takes it back from Tarumas to Havile. He should have a complaint. The guy why are you having to play things? Right? I mean, basically you're saying what there's no how do you understand the tarumas? It can't be going on the tzaddik because if you're if you're having complaints, then don't be a tzaddik. Which I'm not sure sure what that means. I mean you're a tzaddik and you still complain. Am I unfrozen yet? No, you are. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Good. Okay, I don't know exactly yeah. where it got frozen, but uh, basically, Gamar is asking, who is it that's having the complaints? If it's uh, if it's the tzaddik, and you're really upset that you have complaints, then don't be a tzaddik, right? And if you're, and if you are. If you if it's the other guy, so how could the other guy have a complaint? The guy was a tzaddik to him. And when it says Hachi Tomar, or Acher, the other guy, even though he doesn't take it back, love The only thing he could he could have is complaints. Right? Meaning you you could have you could have given back the coin during the 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 time that they that the Mishnah says that you could, and you didn't, so you can then you have you can't complain. I mean, the only thing you do is complain, right? Because it was already you already missed the uh, the uh, uh, the time limit. Fine. Then the Gemara says, nice raw." You can use these coins, even though they may be worth less, because somebody who refuses to take these coins is considered a nefesh raw. So Mamela and Maisa Shani, that's you don't have to be worried about Nefesh, Nefesh Ra. So Amara Papa Shmami, no, Haiman the Maike Mazuzi. Do we hear from this that anybody who literally means he stands up on his money, meaning he cares about the money, and he's mocked with that the money that he's given is is proper. So Mikri Nefesh Ra, he's called the Nefesh Ra. But Animili who desagile. Right? But this is only that the, you can use these actual, the coins actually work. I mean, this guy is Makvid. And, and uh, so we're saying that he's a jerk or he's a Nefesh Ra because he doesn't want to take the coin. Um, right? So, okay, but that's what we're saying, that that's, that's what it is. But it has to be that at least the coin could circulate. A guy is not considered a Nefesh Ra if his coin that you're giving him he can't even use. That's not a nefesh rug. 
If somebody's coming to change, change money with these coins, and then you could change it with what it's worth. But if you're coming to take my sashani and put it onto the coins, so then you can be with the meaning, use it onto this coin with its original worth, even though right now it decayed a little bit and it's not worth it's not it's not it's it's not worth that, which is very uh uh, it's very interesting that we're saying that for regular commerce, the coin is only worth what whatever it's worth now in its weight, not its original worth, right? But but for Maisa Shani, you can consider it its regular its regular worth. The Gemara says, "My Kaomar, what are you saying?" Hachi Kaomar, how if you could shabal the part the part of Bishavia, right? Even though when you would go change it, you have to change it Bishavia. But when you're being mechalal from my sashani, mechalal be yafa, you can be mechalal with yafa. Meaning, why? Because my sashani calculations are not exact. They're not exact, which we'll see in the next line. The memra, the sabr chizki, the mezalzal, the my sashani. Does does chizki say that you can be mezalzal my sashani? Meaning, if you're using it for your regular business, you go with whatever it's worth now. But for my sashani. Right for my sashani, um, you're saying that you can treat it with zilzil and treat it like the meaning. Sounds like you're ripping off my sashani. So va'amar chizkiyah my sashani she'en ba shava pruta. Let's say you have my sashani. You have some fruits that are not worth a shava pruta. So what do you do? So it's you can't put it onto a coin because it's 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 not worth anything from a coin. I mean, I guess you can spend more money. So aimer hu v'chaim shte. So what he says. is, I, me with the chaimish, meaning this, this, I'm taking this coin with the chaimish, because it, when again, when you when you pay the ma'isa sheni, you have to add on a fifth. Bechol al ma'isa So we're going to be mechalit onto your original, the last money, meaning the meaning a guy as he grow as his fruit gets ripe, he puts it onto he puts it onto coins. So this particular fruit is not worth a shabbat pruta. So he's saying go, you can go put it onto your previous coins. Because a person can't be mitzamtim and get exactly down to the to the cent, the exact worth of his fruits to his coins, right? So therefore, um, so therefore, you can assume that there's extra money, that extra money in the coin that you can use for for this, for for the ma'aseshem. You can assume there's a proof of it. Right, the other way around. It seems like the other way around. I got, I got a thousand, a thousand dollars worth of, uh, uh, of of vegetables over here, and a hundred, a hundred, a uh, hundred dollars worth of that is my sashani, and I'm gonna put that down on a, on on a silver dollar. That sounds like cheating the my sashani. Really cheating the my sashani. No, yeah, I think no. Why? why? I'm not because, sure. Uh, Wait, because we're it's, only, it's only a silver dollar. The silver dollar is a dollar. Meanwhile, it's a hundred dollars worth of payers. Uh, you know, you know, the, the biggest coin I can no, put but then on you can't. Can, and a Hanami. So, no, so then probably you can't do dollar, that. I take the silver dollar to 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 Yerushalayim. I can buy a, I can buy you know two apples, <laughs> but I can't buy a hundred apples. You know, I can't buy you know. Right, no, we're talking that. about. I don't think you could do what you're saying, Rachel. Why are you saying you do that? Meaning, here we're talking about. Here we're talking about that it must be that when you had your thousand apples, you put it onto more money than a thousand apples worth. That's what we're assuming you did, and therefore, if you have if you have fruit later that's worth less than a shavu fruta, you can assume that there was change left over. Why? Because by meister shani, you always have to go over the limits. I think that's what the Gemara is saying. Where the assumption is that you're always going to be forced to go over by meister shani, not under. It just, it just it seems like when when you put if you put the put the Yamaisa on 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 a coin, you must be saying not on a single coin. You have to be saying it's on a whole a bag of coins in order to be 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 worth that much plus, All right? Yeah, uh, yeah. You, right. you have That's to do exactly more coins. He's, I think saying. So. he's okay. saying if you have a hundred apples, EF shall something means I don't know the exact value of those apples. But they're approximately worth a hundred dollars. 
So what a person does is he takes $120, he makes that his, his pidgin for my sushini, and then he definitely went over value. L'chumra, right. That's what, you have to go L'chumra. That's what it's saying, right? Yeah, because but that, that doesn't, have to be a, doesn't it have to be a coin? It doesn't have to no, be a not coin. one coin. So, so I could actually have, a, a, let's say, a, a 120 uh, silver dollars would be what I'd be, have to be pointed on. Right. So we had that in a week ago. We had a week ago. And when he comes up with a gold coin that's worth 30 silver coins, mm -hmm. he pointed his 30 silver coins on one gold coin to make it less weight to carry to your line. Okay, fine. Okay. So, 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 okay. All right. Okay. I mean, the All point, right. by the way, but it's like very good. So the Gemara's kasha is, is that you see... That the that the person you always have to go lechumra when doing my sashani, which is why we could assume that if you have more fruit later, there's going to be a little change left over on the coin, right? But here we just here the Gemara is saying that even though the coin is let's say it's a quarter, and really it's the coin is really only worth twenty cents for my sashani, you can consider it like twenty five cents. Why? You see that you're mistreating my sashani, and you see you always have to treat my sashani lechumra. Right, so what I answer is my biyafa doesn't mean actual yafa, means betayras yafa, meaning according to its vade worth. Meaning you're going to use it as a pigeon for its actual worth. Right, meaning let's say, let's say I mean, this whole thing is not so so pushed at all. What exactly this means? But if you have the seller is worth let's say twenty five cents. Uh, let's say a quarter. Right? You have a quarter, so a quarter is twenty-five cents. Now, for whatever reason, it went down to twenty cents. Right. So, what is the money? Any any normal money changer is going to use it. He's going to give you twenty cents, so he's not going to give you twenty-five cents for it. Right. But some, you're going to have some guys who are going to want to even squeeze it for more, and now they're going to give you less than twenty cents. They'll give you, let's say, eighteen cents or nineteen cents. Right. So. In Yerushalayim, he's saying that in Yerushalayim, they might give you 19 cents. But Lamaisa, you can treat it with 20 cents. I mean, the point was never that you could actually take Maisa Shani and go with the original 25 cents. That's not right. You're ripping off the Maisa Shani, like Rachman is saying. All right, so what is it? Meaning sometimes you might get money changes that'll squeeze it for a little bit more. That you don't have to worry about. You go with the, the basic amount, and that, now you don't have to do more than that. The tray zili loimzal zilim because you're not going to do two. Uh, um, you're not going to do two zilzils on the ma'aser sheni. Meaning, one is that you're even allowing the coin to be worth to used, right? Because the ma'aser we're saying that this coin should be really. I don't know if it should be taken out of circulation, but the ma'aser shouldn't be used, right? And uh, and also using it for a, the full amount. So we're not going to do two zilzils on my Um Yeah. Okay. I, I hope it was semi-understandable. I guess we'll stop. Uh, we'll stop over here. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Let's say a tillum. Hey, Gimel.